Hello and good morning, all of you. Uh, uh, Kamal ji, just one moment. Uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, good morning. Uh, so, uh, thanks, Kamal ji, for uh, no, sure. starting. Uh, so, basically, uh, we are still expecting some more attendees to join in. Okay. Uh, so, we started around 10.05. We have uh, Mr. Kamal also here uh, from Alice Blue. And we have the president of Kwansa, Mrs. Tina, also to guide you through the platform. So, uh, we'll start in five minutes, guys. Uh, first of all, like, thank you for joining in uh, on uh, this morning. And uh, it's beautiful weather here in Mumbai. I don't know where you guys are at, but uh, hope you're having a good morning. And uh, give us four minutes exactly. And we'll start at 10.05. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. All right, Mr. Kamal, uh, and good morning, everyone. Uh, so, Mr. Kamal and uh, Ms. Tina, you can take it over. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, myself, Kamal Sharma from Allies Blue Team, and I welcome you all in this uh, option trading webinar. And first of all, I welcome Ms. Tina Gavodia. Uh, she is a president of the uh, QuantApp, which is a leading option trading platform in India right now. And it is the best analytical tools that we have in our country. 
So I'm proud to be, Alice Blue is proud to be have the associated with the Miss Tina uh, with us. And uh, today's agenda, as we all of know that uh, finding the best option strategies with the optimizer, then the real time orders, then decoding the option chain and all those things will be there. And uh, these things will be taken care of by the Miss Tina itself. So I'm welcome Tina, ma'am, uh, once again, and uh, all of the attendees. And you can ask all of the questions at the end so that uh, we can have the question answer session at the end also. So now the uh, munch is with that uh, Tina, ma'am. Uh, good morning, friends. Thank you, Kamalji, for a brief introduction. Uh, I welcome everyone out here to the synergies which we have. So with, we are quite excited to tie up with Alice Blue for trading platform. So it's basically a win-win situation wherein like uh, you get a complete ecosystem right from analysis to trading. So the briefly in this webinar, we'll touch base upon how we uh, just do the integration in terms of trading as well as some key products which could be quite helpful if you are an option trader be it a positional trader be the intraday trader so let's begin so today's agenda we are covering first the creating a forecast and finding the best strategy to trade so within a minute how you become from a normal trader to a derivative strategist so that's where the entire game changing comes up. You don't need to have any major understanding of in terms of like uh, what are grease, what are those things. A simple forecast of yours can turn you from a simple trader to a derivative strategist. Second, we are hardcore option trader, be it a buyer, be it a writer, post the weekly options. We uh, the, the option game has changed completely. So we would be covering a few products which will help us to understand where the sentiments is moving to gauge out how the market is moving from the buyer's perspective, where they can get an edge, as well as from the seller's perspective. So if you think about an option writing, option writing, we know it very crystal clear what is the money which we are going to make. There is nothing which is black not known to an option trader max money you know at the upfront the entire key or entire skills lies in the risk management and what is the better day to know about it after seeing the last two trading session nifty with 500 down and 500 up so i guess so the webinar is coming to a very apt point wherein like we have seen the market that way and how does this creates an edge be it an option buyer be it an option writer now this all things will come when we have made our focus when we have come and make our decisions so when we are evaluating the market so we will be learning about the positional trading in terms of a top-down approach why we say top-down approach because it helps you to find a high probability trades we don't get shake up with the volatilities intra volatility we are firmly with the trend so we are doing a top-down approach in terms of sector and then diving into the stocks within it. Fifth, something very good from the intraday traders. So we have the option traders who are hardcore intraday traders. So instantly, which stock or which strike is something where the action is happening and it's just available at the click. And finally, how do you execute it in the industry? Fine. So let's begin. Just a sec. So I think so you guys would be quite well versed with this platform. So we are at the Alice Blues web platform. Okay. Now, how do you go to concept from you? So you have in the more section, there are this call as links. Once you click on links, in the ecosystem, we have CONSAP. You click on the CONSAP and you come to the platform aliceblue.concept.com. So this is the platform wherein your CONSAP, you would be able to evaluate our, eval and you will be able to analyze and trade, okay? Now, our good news is like, now we have four screens available. So, a uh, Pro Plus user can use four screens simultaneously and you can have 
a view on the four products simultaneously or one product on four screens also. Okay, the first thing we talk about like creating and forecast and finding a best strategy. So let's first look at how the market is today. So I come to charts. There's something called as a technical chart. So it is basically uh, your normal charting what we do. So this is the daily chart of Nifty. So I don't need to tell about the technical analysis because uh, we are hardcore technical analysts. India is the largest population of technical analysts. So throughout the trend, we all come to know. Okay. So having seen that, so say for instance, we are looking at Luna Nifty. It looks like it's in a broader range. So we have 16,800 acting as a vital support multiple times. On the upper hand, now 17,400 or so was the resistance, okay? Now looking at this, say for instance, I say, I feel that the Nifty can come back to 17,000. Say by 24th of February, we have an expiry. I don't want to hold on till Thursday. I'm looking for something which is closer by and so. So I want to do a trade wherein like a, to play this consolidation, okay? Now let's look at Bank Nifty also. Now, so Bank Nifty, if we look, last two days, we saw the dip towards 36,600, which was the earlier support also. And upper hand, we have now 38,400. So it's nearly like an 1,800 points range, which has developed, so uh, which is there. Now, again, if I say that, I feel that the Bank Nifty can come down to 37,400 or so. And say the stop losses now would be white. Let's come to the algorithm. Now, the first pioneer algorithm for this would be the optimizer. So basically an optimizer is an algorithm wherein like you just need to input your forecast and you get a suitable option strategy for your forecast. So when I say uh, in terms of a suitable option strategy, why you see that we need to have a suitable, why can't we just go and buy a put? Why can't we just go and buy a call? No, because if you look at the options, the options, the beauty of options lies in the permutation combination. Each segment in the market has a different way of trading. When I'm a breakout trader, I might go for a single option. But when I'm a consolidated trader, I won't be able to make money in a single leg option. So I need to have something more. So say for instance, now I come to the optimizer algorithm. Nifty, say I fail, it could be a bearish trade. And say by Wednesday, I feel that Nifty can touch base again towards 16,900. I want to keep a stop loss of 17,450. Okay, so it's basically, let me see my optional parameters. Okay, so I have an optimal instead I make it an absolute profit okay I have okay let me tweak it so when the volatility is something wherein like it's not uh, coming into your volatility when it will not give you any strategy now say I say I want to create a strategy for say next month so by say third of thing, I expect the Nifty should be in an oscillating range. So when you say it's an oscillating range, you have to give a band. So I say I want to go in for a lower band of 16,800, upper band of 17,500, stop below 16,600, stop above 17,000. 700 okay wait a minute so so nifty the volatility is such that it is not having a suitable strategy for it let's find for say bank nifty okay so bank nifty i go and do it from the february series 
I feel that bank nifty could be in the range of 37,000 lower end and upper hand 38,500. I want to keep a stop. So it is 36,500. I want to keep a stop loss of 36,000. Stop about 39,000. Okay. And I want to change the optional things. Okay. Risk of say one lakh, say fifty thousand. Apply. I get the strategy. Okay. So here for my forecast, it has given me an optimal strategy, which is for a consolidating market. So when we say the market is consolidating within this range, which is the best strategy suitable for my forecast. So now you have this call as a modified long put condom. It has come up. I can analyze it and I can see it. So I get a strategy wherein like between 36,600 to 36,200, it is making the max profit. This is my range of it. And my loss starts only and only below 36,000. Similarly, if we want to go and see the another strategy, we can go here. We can see how the next strategy is spanning out. So optimizer algorithm helps you to find the best strategy for your forecast. So given your forecast, which is the suitable strategy, it will convert your forecast into an strategy. So that's what the optimizer algorithm does. Now comes to the second uh, product that's called as order and trade analytics. So when we talk about order and trade analytics, so before we jump into an order and trade, <coughs> excuse me, we need to understand like uh, even if you talk about any platform, any broker thing, we say that any market watch, we see that we see top five bid and ask. So the option breadth, what we say, or the order book, what we see is uh, at max, we see five bid and ask, the top five buyers, top five sellers, or we see top 20 buyers or top 20 sellers. But is the market only and only limited to this top five or top 20? Certainly not, because there are all time frame players playing onto it. You have the retail traders, you have the H9 traders, you have the colo players also. So your order book is just not restricted to top 20. So what will help us to gauge out the sentiments better? We often say that key, my stop loss got hit and it got reversed. Okay. So is that something which is there where the players are acting into it? So basically order and trade this product helps you to understand how the sentiment is moving. Now let's understand to the main players. So when you talk about the buyer or a seller, who are the buyers in the option trader? on the option trading. So when we talk about the buyers, the buyers are the people who look out for the breakouts, who feel that the momentum will be strong enough and you can make money at one go. So from the buyer's perspective, if you think we are looking for a momentum play and we are looking out from the genuineness of that momentum. At times it might happen, like say for instance, we are at 17,300. A person comes, oh, market is up by 500. It can go up again, say another three, 400. And I go and buy the 17,300 call. But we need to verify very true that 17,300 is getting removed. Is it convincingly giving a breakout or no? Secondly, is there a momentum play playing out or no? If there is supporting momentum play, then it shows that a genuineness. So basically we are, Order and trade book is the unique algorithm which is available only in concept, wherein like you get the gist of the entire order book which is there on the exchange. So every order which is getting placed, all the trades which are taking place, the entire analytics is based on the entire order book. So it's just not top 20, 
top five or top ten. It is the entire order book for all the securities in the market. So when we talk about securities, there are nearly fifty-five thousand plus unique uh, symbols. So be it st single stocks, uh, futures, cash, uh, futures, call options, put options. There are nearly fifty-five thousand. So we are we can do this analytics on any of the instrument. There are thirty-three such analytics which are there. So if we go here. Under indicator Q, there are so many. Uh, there are around thirty-three plus. But today, as we have a limited time, so we will be touching base on one particular indicator which plays out beautifully. So we call that indicator as a buyer initiative trade. So when you put buyer, so that is called as a buyer initiated quantity. Okay. Now, I'll put. similarly we have something called as a seller initiated quantity so now buyer initiated quantities refers to the all the trades which is taking place on the ask price so when i say that i come to a market and i feel that this breakout is too genuine and it can go to 17600 by say tomorrow itself So when I come there, I feel that the market can go to seventeen thousand six hundred in one day on the expiry itself. That it, uh, I would be very very aggressive. So I will start taking uh, without thinking about the price. I will start buying it. So I will put my order on the ask price and take the trade. Similarly, on the other hand, if someone feel that the market market has run up a lot, now it's time to get corrected. It can come down to seventeen thousand one hundred. Then the seller becomes aggressive. And he says that let me sell it whatever is the price right now because I feel it can come down by two hundred points immediate. So it's a putting on the bid. So all the trades which are taking place on the ask price are called as a buyer initiative trades. All the trades taking place on the bid side are called the seller initiative trade. Now lies the beauty. How do you infer this information or this knowledge? So what we are doing is we are comparing. Whether the buyers are aggressive or no, so let's understand it. So I'll just make little. I'll put the seller in red, make it a line chart. I put the buyers in green, make it a line chart. I will just move the both. The, I'll merge both the panels together. So that we can do an apple to apple comparison. Now this is what the market is showing today. So the moment it opened, we start seeing that the sellers are getting aggressive in today's market. If you compare the quantum wise, the seller initiative trades are increasing compared to our buyer initiative trades. Okay. Now if we have to look yesterday, how did it happen? So this data is available from one second perspective. By default, we have kept it one minute because it becomes easy for a human eye to infer it. But if you have a grip of it, sky is the limit. So you can go and look at the one second data. Okay. Now you have, if look yesterday fifteen, majority day or like you saw how the buyers were. Don't go about the trade. They were quite aggressive. They are putting the trades on the ask price, and the buyer initiative quantities was super high compared to the seller one. Correct. Okay? So this slightest of information makes the entire change. You know how the sentiment is prevailing in the market. You know how the traders are thinking. So if I see that there is a trend change happening, and the buyers are getting too aggressive. i know that if i have a breakout this is a genuine breakout but if i start seeing that if the breakout is there and the buyers are not getting aggressive that means it could be an a false breakout and i should not go aggressive into it or i should avoid it so the difference between a you can say a pro trader and a amateur is just how they do their risk management how they take their trades Okay, so we need to filter out the false breakouts and the genuine breakouts. So this particular indicator helps us to gauge out how the sentiment is going. So yesterday we saw uh, there was a deep buyer initiative compared to the seller one, 
and today we are seeing the sellers are getting aggressive so far especially before 10 o'clock we saw this trend and post that we are seeing that it is in a very narrow range that means market is now digesting the move volatility is like a mean reverting and it's very important for the market to digest that so if you see now the quantum is relatively reducing and that shows that it is digesting it so with this indicators we come to know for the strikes beat index options beat stock option where the momentum is lying from the buyer side now when we talk about the seller so if i go and look into say for the last two days have been a very good case study if I am a hardcore option trader or uh, someone who has begun their option journey because you saw on Monday the market one sided down there was huge and if you become a very aggressive writer you say that the market has broken because the put writers got trapped let me be uh, selling the call aggressive and instantly the next day the table turned around again and the call trap writers got trapped so it's very very important that how you take your trade depending on the market condition and these data points are quite apt to help you place that trade so if we look at 14 we were having the sellers who were aggressive okay now let's go deeper into it so till before 2 30 you can say that the sellers were having a very decent thing but post 230 on 14th Feb itself, we saw that the buyers started taking up. So that showed that they were doing some shift in hands at the lower point of the market. If I say that I feel that the market can go to 16,000, will I be an aggressive person to go and put my bets on at 16,800? No. So this will happen only and only when we feel that the sentiment can turn around and then only you become aggressive. So this slightest information gave us the like, like if I'm a seller, let me square off my trade. Okay, so be a buyer or seller for the seller, the most important thing is the risk management. So you should know that when should I exit my selling position. So looking at simple this data that buyer initiated quantity is now increasing compared to the seller initiated quantity it's enough for me to understand that now i cannot be on the selling position i need to book my trade if i see that the data is again favoring the seller let's enter it there is no harm in booking and re-entering rather than when you are in a confusion state it's always you take a you spare off your trade so at if you look at <coughs> sorry, 14 Feb post 2.30, the buyer started getting aggressive and the trend which was completely on the seller side became on a neutral side. So this shows that the market was digesting. It was not ready to go below 16,800 either. So this saved the writers, the 14 Feb writers the following day, right? And we saw how the 15th started with a positive momentum and it continued for the day. So this particular indicator, buyer initiative trade, seller initiative trade, helps us both the buyer perspective as well as the seller perspective. The buyer perspective, we are able to catch the momentum. We are able to genuinely, you know, differentiate between a, a genuine breakout or a false breakout. You are able to know the turnaround points in the market and take a suitable trade according to just for that, whether the momentum is in your favor. So when I'm a writer, I know that it's a selling which is should be there. So that's there first. Secondly, it's very important when the buying starts getting aggressive. So once the buying starts getting aggressive, I need to square off my trade or shift my trade. So depending upon the use case, depending upon where you are placed, you can have to do some sort of risk management, which can help us in the following one. So both from the buyer's perspective as well as seller's perspective, this data point gives a beautiful information. 
along with such indicators there are like a vwap indicator there are other uh, cancelled order details are there they have total orders getting placed there are multiple indicators which helps us to take a complete birds eye view of the trade right so that comes from the order and trade analysis we do have a watch list also so this is one of the unique product which is available only and the change of when it comes to the retail trading such information is have always been at the you know liberty of like uh, algo traders the polo people think but today you have those data in a very readable format if we start giving you the raw data it will be of no use because we won't be able to understand anything but this entire information is you know is collated and is coming into an analytics format in the form of order and trade analytics now the third part comes the very very important thing or like how do i create a forecast so when you are a derivative trader gone are the time when we look at the stock uh, cash market chart and say that okay, uh, okay now the breadth is increasing the deliverable volumes are increasing and so on you have nearly 95 to 96 percent volume in the derivative market out of it nearly 90 percent of the volume comes in the option segment okay so your futures and options data becomes a very you know driving factor when it comes to your forecast so the entire application of concept takes into account those information wherein you are evaluating every information which is available from the futures and option market and coming up with the decision making so the for third part from the forecast we go with a top down approach we first do the sector evaluation so we have something called as built up sector uh, before that one uh, there is one product that's called as a outrunners so when you go into the outrunners a very clean and to the point i would rather say there is no nothing which is like a confusion thing found of it <coughs> at this stage what we see is like a, you're comparing and you seeing where the velocity is there and where the momentum is there okay so i need a momentum and i need that push also so positive momentum with the you know right velocity is something very important from the bullish trade negative momentum with the proper velocity is required for the bearish trade so if you look at this data so momentum is picking up and velocity is picking up in say media okay <coughs> is picking up in say reality stock the earlier fmcg which was in the short thing is now reversing it okay and pharma is also reversing its positive momentum so the new momentum or velocity is getting picked up in reality and media okay now we come to the another product call as built up in sector we have a sector cycle so this is a you can say a our a unique product uh, based on the our in house uh, knowledge of over the period of what we have understood from the derivative segment it's like to understand the trend so this product is quite copyright way because it's a unique way where you are understanding the things based on the colors in terms of the uh, built ups so now when i say sector cycle you have for the last 60 days uh, before i say i want to take a short term view i go to a look back period of 20 i say that tell me the <coughs> sectors which have been overall always in a bullish trend so i go do and long and long unwinding and do 12 and apply so i come up with a list of sectors which are in a positive momentum so the sectors which are there are metal others let's avoid it reality and telecom so if we notice that reality is something which is coming up in our outrunners also and is coming up in our sector cycle also so that means there are two uh, individually uh, you can say isolated products wherein the same sector is coming up so your conviction increases <coughs> so reality is coming up 
so now i know that ki i should be focusing my trade on say reality and say secondly on metals uh okay. now we come to built up and say we do script so sector is when i will do the complete sectoral analysis script is where you are going diving deeper into and doing the individual stock analysis okay so again in say script you have a normal uh, built up so long shot one you can see the market breadth the product we can look is the cycle now in cycle i say take me to the sector of reality okay so now if you look here you have dlf which has shown a good consistent <coughs> momentum is there then we have <coughs> uh over the period obroid reality and go so we see that the, how the reality the stocks how the reality stocks are performing and we can pick up our trades which are in sync to those we can go to future oih wherein you are now seeing the <coughs> oi and price momentum with the build up i go and do absolute oi go to dlf wow so now this is where the entire thing is so if you look here in last few days the longs have been significantly higher compared to the shorts the market saw the the volatility which we saw in the market so like in that volatility <coughs> from 392 it came to 355 and it recovered to 376 again with the fresh long build ups which are seen okay Uh, if you look at Oberoi, so if you look in the Oberoi reality, it's compared to the yellow, it is not that great on the data point perspective. So uh, in the reality, we'll pick up the large cap the yellow phone. So now if we talk about some metal stocks also, so if we see on the cycle. i will make a sector that becomes our task becomes easy <coughs> so you have hindalco which is been playing out beautifully wherein you are seeing more of longs despite the market volatility the stock is standing out okay then you have hindustan copper a uh, one day short was there but overall it hold it back jindal so we can now go and look at the historical and we can do this analysis so we can clearly see, figure out how the trend is moving in a stock how it is framing out so we can see that there is no nervousness seen in this stock despite the market volatility so it is testing the strength correct so this is how the hindalco is there you can look out for jindal steel your comes jindal steel so we are not imposing your view on the market we are reading what the market wants to tell us and there lies the difference the entire entire key in trading is the data analysis and let the market speak to you rather than you talking to the market saying that ki ye lagta hai mujhe ye hota hai let the market say that ki this is what the data is talking to you right so it's a reverse way and you will see your entire trading has changed so this way you can select a sector and within a sector you can go and do a stock analysis so there are pretty much there are nearly 40 plus tools uh, which are there on the pro side uh, which are there which goes into deeper analysis on the positional side there are uh, nearly 25 tools which are completely free wherein like you can go and look at the market breadth because each data point has something unique to tell you and we have a very limited time so definitely there is lot of information which is there at your gate now knowing the positional trading from the top down approach from the sectors from the uh, script wise now we come to something called as a intraday trading so when we talk about intraday trading so intraday traders are like a instant i don't have time 
no blah blah let's just go and do it so that's where the our entire focus is like we are always on top of our toes so let us get some product wherein i don't have to apply my mind i'm seeing the market i'm scanning the market and telling tell me the stocks tell me the securities which are at the top of the you know you it's at the top of the mind for every trader so you have something called as the fno news and as the name says it is fno news so it talks to you about which are the stocks which are the strikes where the market is like uh, where the good uh, action is seen with price oi iv wise so these are certain filters which we have created and which we feel is quite apt there is something called as a fno scanner wherein it will tell you the trades based on your input criteria so if i say fno news uh, <coughs> it says that 38100 bank nifty 24 feb is seeing the long built up then i see on the pnb call writing that's a short which is coming up mnm call is seeing a short curving so we are at the last week of expiry so this short curving in the stocks plays out beautifully so you don't have to go through that 200 stocks and do that hard work of it the entire data is in front of you now you have got the stock you can do your back in a backward analysis go and look at the chart and if it gets sick with your trading pattern the trade is yours so you have you don't have to wonder around like if which strike should look out for which stock to look out for there is no gut feeling thing it's like is a hardcore data analysis so if i say grasm sdfc sdfc life mnm all the stocks are seeing the short covering in calls on the pel side we are seeing that uh, there is a fresh shorts getting created in the pel puts okay so that means put is getting written call is seeing a short covering what could be the best combination then right so you know that put writers are getting aggressive call writers are feeling that you know they are jittery in their mind so they are covering it up so bank nifty if look here so there's a long unwinding so all you feel think that your jigsaw puzzle every pieces are getting placed properly that's what the beauty so this if you are an intraday trader start looking at this information as the market opens and you know that how the trend is moving you don't have to be uh, looking at for more type of information everything is at one place itself okay so this becomes like a hardcore fno news you have a fno scanner also wherein like you can do your if i say i want tell me the stocks which has up by 50% in terms of premium so it will give you the stocks which are up by 50% so if i say price change is 50% oi could be anything iv could be anything i simply apply and it all depends now i have ibull housing i didn't come across all the stocks so mnm finance is there mcdowells is there then lnt fs so mbfc is some seeing some sort of good momentum so this is there now you have a beautiful way of seeing the open interest and the so this is like a beautiful way of like open interesting where we have tried to bring out the all the information at one go this single product can tell you where which strikes are seeing the fresh writing bit call bit put where the unwinding is taking place how the option band is shifting are the traders a directional traders are the traders a consolidation what they feel in the market could be so if i look here so if i look your nifty 17 feb call writers are quite aggressive so if you look here you can see the color code where the fresh edition is seen what was yesterday and what was today so if if we see your 17500 aggressive call writing beyond 17400 we are seeing the writing the that it shows where the volatility is unlike a normal day where the bands used to be closer 
this expiry, we are not seeing that. We are seeing the put writers are not selling at 17,000, 300, 200, 100. They are directly at 70,000 because they have learned a hard way. The way the market gave a swing in last two days, it's a it's not easy for option writer. It's a quite testing phase for the option writers. And they know now that 17,000 is an idle point to write rather than wing. So this is where you need to know where to keep a stop loss. What is your ideal resistance level where the market all will see a stiffness coming up? Then you have a book of products on the volatility. Volatility is a very important data point when it comes to the options. You can say the soul of option trading is the volatility understanding. So you can look at something called as IVHV. So there is a product called as IV minus FRV. So it's a very simple product where we say that if what is the volatility, uh, what is the volatility judged by the option trader, which is called as implied volatility, and what has been the actual future realized volatility. So <coughs> when your actual volatility, implied volatility is said to be greater than the future realized volatility, that's the point to be in seller. But if the actual momentum coming the market is far higher than the volatility, you should avoid option selling. That's what it is. So whenever you are in a green zone, it is a writer's market. Whenever you are in a red zone, it is not a writer's market. Mark my words, I'm not saying it is a buyer's market. I'm saying it is not a writer's market. So there is a difference being not a writer and being a buyer, okay? So for a buyer, you need to have for, so that, uh, other filters also. But one thing I'm very clear, I should not be an option writer. So if you look here, we are in the red zone. So that means the actual volatility, which is turning out is higher than what the implied volatility has been. And I should not be a seller in the market. So once if this, when do we turn it? When do we say that okay, now the things have turned, uh, turned around? So once the data becomes two times green, that means now the sellers, it's, it's prudent for the option sellers. And once you start seeing from the green, it has turned towards red. If you get a confirmation of two days or so, you know that key, let me exit the writing thing. Let me be an opportunist and look out for a buying condition, okay? Option trading is just being opportunist. It is not being a buyer or a seller. I need to be there at the right place at the right time. That's what the option trading is all about. So this is a very interesting product when it comes to the option seller of hardcore risk management, hardcore or time understanding when to be a writer, when not to be a writer. So if you look here from the phase of like a 13th April to nearly 8th September, it was a hardcore writing phase. So this phase, the writers would have made a killer because the range was very narrow. The volatility uh, uh, was, the implied volatility was higher than the actual future realized volatility and it was a killing market. And thereafter, if you look here from post November to December, again, we saw that it wasn't a writer's market. And again, uh, in this post December, we are seeing this tendency, okay? So you have this thing, then you have option chain. Uh, we have not dealt into in terms of Greeks, but Greeks plays a crucial part when it comes to option trading. And you have your tick by tick real time Greeks with you. <coughs> Along with that, you have certain things like a actually how your option will behave based on the time factor. So this is like option chain. Uh, you have all the premium IVs, the Greeks along. I can do a what if analysis. If I say that key, I'm a layman. I just know that Nifty can go to 17,200 tomorrow. What could be my price of the option of 17,300? So if I say my underline can go to 17,200, I will update this. And the time I'm saying that I'm expecting this to happen say on 17th Feb, morning 10. So your 70,300 put would be 153. So 
it's very crystal clear what should be my ideal target for the option what should be my stop loss for the option so this way you can do a lot of thing so to summarize so we have nearly 17 so you have nearly 70 plus products into concept so which are uh, from which are there for all type of traders be it a intraday hardcore trader be it a weekly option trader be it a stock option trader you have order and trade which tells the nerves of the market a turning point in the market the aggression in the market you have directly the fno news which is you know telling you which are the strikes which are the stocks which are there with you so uh, which are there with you then you have something called as a uh, uh, intraday you are in positional trading where you do a top down approach we have your uh, sector analysis coming up you have the outrunners which is talking to you which is the sector for day and where the momentum is picking up where the velocity is increasing or decreasing then you come to a script within that sector where you see the trend is moving you picked up reality you saw how the dlf is moving we saw metals we saw hindalco how it is moving and how the trend has been then you have a unique open interest wherein it tells you about the how the bands are moving where the fresh writing is seen where the uh, the a simple view of how the call writers are behaving how the put writers are behaving and so on so it's there for everything and there are nearly 40 plus positional products nearly 25 plus free products are there which is there for your analysis so this is from our side so i'll open for the question and answer thing so the first question was how to trade bank nifty during weekly expiry day yes i know so like it's a hardcore coming from an option trader so <coughs> When it comes to the weekly thing, so order and trade is one of the product where your I should be there. So if I'm a, a hardcore option trader, we love to do analysis. My best thing is I will create this multiple screen for me. I'll open this two video uh, two link. Uh, so I have say now I make two screens. So this is a. Uh, one second. So you can have. Okay. Now I will just keep the two pages in front of me. If I'm a buy, how the, uh, the Nifty is behaving, how the bank Nifty is behaving in terms of buyer and seller. So if I say bank Nifty. I can create my layout also. Say I put a buyer initiative quantity. I put a seller initiated one. Okay. So similarly, one more place I will keep the order. So you can put the call option, you can put the put option also. So just Add say bank nifty 17 Feb 22 38,000 put indicator wise. I can put buyer and seller. You can create your watch list though, so you don't have to add on every other type. I will just make it green and make this as a red. This way you can create four tabs for yourself. And you can keep seeing the market strength, how the buyers are moving, how the sellers are moving and so on. So if we look here, the 38,000 put, so the buyer and sellers are selling is still we are seeing up. So we are not seeing any nervousness yet. I will say move it to the existing pane above and I will merge the data. Okay, so I have a simple line chart here. Okay, 
I will make this also a line chart. So now if you look here, buyer and sellers are nearly same. So it shows like it's like a straddle which is getting acted on 38,000. Okay, so market is not seeing another thousand point move coming up in say next two days as of now the data is saying where the writers both call uh, selling and buying both are seeing active that shows that the it's trying to digest the move. So once you start seeing that the trend is changing, the buyers are getting aggressive or the sellers are getting aggressive, you get it. Apart from that, there is open interest product, there is option chain from where we can do the analysis of weekly. So we can have an exclusive webinar uh, with the, for the Alice Blue, wherein we can touch base upon how to do a weekly options. The second question was, uh, yeah, we can certainly do a webinar in Hindi. So like definitely uh, we can have uh, Hindi, English, English sort of thing. Uh, so can we get the recording? We'll share the webinar recording with the Alice Blue team and definitely the, uh, the Alice Blue team can communicate to you guys. was great you guys so it was fun and do let us know if you have any query any uh, doubts uh, we would be more than happy to uh, assist you uh, any query you can drop us at email at support at consa all right uh, thank you uh, miss tina so guys uh, like as you know alice blue is now integrated with consa so in alice blue's link section uh, you will find uh, how you can access these uh, analytics and uh, so basically the entire agenda for having this integration was uh, giving you an edge over other option traders uh, so hopefully you guys find a lot of value uh, in this particular tool so you can also go through uh, any help you can email us on support regarding the application and our team will be happy to help you out and uh, so that's all from our end uh, kamal would you like to say something uh, it will be very good and uh, wonderful session with the Tina ma'am and uh, she has uh, uh, taught us everything about that concept. Concept are having the more than 70 uh, odd products uh, no, it, it is there. So it's not possible to cover all those 70 uh, products in the one go in one hour. So we may have the another session with that uh, concept team soon and uh, that recording will be uh, loaded in our uh, will be there in our YouTube channel soon. So clients can access that uh, link there. So thanks, thanks all of you for uh, attending this uh, webinar. Perfect. Uh, thank you all. Thank you, Kamalji. Thank you, Tina ma'am. And uh, happy trading to all of you. The markets are pretty volatile today. So uh, you might want to fire up WhatsApp and basically look at some data before trading. All right. So thank you guys and uh, have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.